I took the fuel pump off of this truck because I wanted to clean it up and make a new gasket for it and just kind of see if it works and I cleaned it all up and was washing it in a pan of gas and I put this part where the gas goes in uh, under the underneath the gas and started working this lever that works the diaphragm inside and sure enough it started to squirt fuel out this end and that's how that works. The fuel enters here, travels down through this center hole into this what's called a sediment bowl, sediment bowl and uh, so any dust or dirt or anything that might be in the fuel settles to the bottom of this sediment bowl and then the fuel is pumped back up through this screen and this of course runs off the camshaft and runs a dia works a diaphragm in here that pumps it on out into the fuel line and the reason I know what that is the first time I saw one I guess I was seven or eight years old and my dad bought uh, an old tractor and it was a 9N Ford and it had this same kind of a fuel pump on it with this sediment bowl so that's how I know about that but uh, once again I took something off of this truck and cleaned it and put it back together and it works. So there we go. I got my gas tank cleaned up, cleaned out, and a uh, new fuel line attached and the fuel pump cleaned up and reinstalled, the line attached to it, and it cranks and it runs, and I'm not going to put that, I decided not, this tank goes under the seat, but I decided not to put it back in the truck because I have a lot of welding to do on this thing, and it's, a, it's really bad, this whole cab is just falling apart, but, yeah, well, that's another story. Anyway, I'm going to keep the tank out until I get through welding in there and that'll probably be the last thing to go back in is that gas tank and I won't leave it up there either that's temporary but I just wanted to hook it up and make sure everything was going to work and it does I noticed that water pump is leaking a little bit and I think tomorrow I'm going to pull that off and there's a brass nut in there around that shaft and I'm betting that there's some packing in behind that nut. I'm going to find out tomorrow. Uh, either way, I know where I can get it, either a new one or a rebuilt one. So, well, this is not going to slow us down much.